Welcome to another training session of the Somatic Manager. In this session, we will learn how to make a ladder logic for the motor start stop in forward and reverse directions. Before starting today's session, I would like you guys to please subscribe this channel for more upcoming video tutorials in this series. Let's see the setup for the today's session. As you can see that we have three push buttons. Start forward, start reverse and stop connected at I0.0, I0.1 and I0.2 inputs of the PLC respectively. Next we have an overload contact of the breaker wired at I0.3 input of the PLC. Next we have two contactors. First one to run the motor in the forward direction. This contactor coil is wired at Q0.0 output of the PLC. The second contactor is used to run the motor in the reverse direction. This contactor coil is wired at Q0.1 output of the PLC. Now let's see the ladder logic for this application. In the network one, we have written the logic to start the motor in the forward direction. We have inserted a normal open contact of the push button I0.0 in series with the normal close contact of Q0.1 which is motor reverse command. So this means that we can only turn on the motor forward command Q0.0 when the motor reverse command Q0.1 is off. If we press the start forward push button I0.0 and motor reverse command Q0.1 is off, this will turn on the motor forward command Q0.0. This Q0.0 output will be latched on through its own normal open contact Q0.0 through this path. Next we have a normal open contact I0.2 of the stop push button and normal close contact of overload I0.3 in series with the motor forward command Q0.0. This means that if somebody press this stop push button I0.2 or motor overloads, this overload contact I0.3 opens. This will latch off the motor forward start command Q0.0. In the network number 2, we have written the logic to start the motor in the reverse direction. We have inserted a normal open contact of the push button I0.1 in series with the normal close contact of Q0.0, which is the motor forward run command. So this means that we can only turn on the motor reverse command Q0.1 when the motor forward command Q0.0 is off. If we press the motor reverse start push button I0.1 and the motor forward command Q0.0 is off, this will turn on the motor reverse command Q0.1. This Q0.1 output will be latched on through its own normal open contact Q0.1 through this path. Next we have a normal open contact I0.2 of the star push button and normal close contact of overload I0.3 in series with the motor reverse command Q0.1. This means that if somebody press this star push button I0.2 on motor overloads while running and this contact I0.3 opens, this will latch off the motor reverse command Q0.1. Now let's download this program in the PLC and monitor the ladder logic. Now as you can see that if we press this start forward push button I0.0, the motor forward command Q0.0 will turn on through this path and its normal open contact in parallel also closes and it latch on the forward command Q0.0 and motor start to run. Now if we release this push button, the output Q0.0 remains on. Now if we press this star push button I0.2, it will open this contact and in result, it will turn off the motor forward command Q0.0. Now let's try to run the motor in the reverse direction. Now as you can see that if we press the reverse start push button I0.1, the motor reverse command Q0.1 will turn on through this path. Now if we press this uh, star push button I0.2, it will open this contact and in result 
it will turn off the motor reverse run command 20.1 so this is how to make a ladder logic to run the motor in reverse and forward directions i hope you like this tutorial do share like and subscribe this channel for more upcoming video tutorials till next time take care goodbye